Well, no, 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 no. Oh, castle proper is done. All right, what do you have to say? There you are. You kept me waiting. I found my finger on what was bothering me. It's as if the answers you're providing aren't your ideas at all. It's as if they're latent, prescribed, pre-scripted, and you're just going through the motions. Does that strike a chord at all? Um, uh, I guess. Of course, you've only seen a fraction of the data that I've archived over the generations. Still ask yourself this. Why is it that everyone's so darn sure that 2 plus 2 makes 4? They can't agree on what they are, what they're doing, or why. Mm. Maybe math is real while the other problems are imaginary? Precisely. Pro's question is like, what should I do with myself? What is the world really like enough? And you start to assume they have answers. What if that assumption turns out to be false? What if you're just a bunch of information processes? In that case, any time to answer the questions will be flawed. Garbage in, garbage out. argue with it or I can kind of agree with it but like eh, it's sort of like 42 life is what you make of it it's whatever you want maybe I'm so pleased you recognize that none of the answers make sense that much is clear one explanation could be unreliable data input the other is that there's a flaw in our logic perhaps we're just machines endlessly trying to calculate the final digit in pi I assume there's, that there's much beyond our understanding. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Everything leads around in possible circles. You spent half our time reeling off the greatest hits of video ideas. Now you're telling me you retract all of them and agree with me? Hold your horses. I haven't given up on everything. You've seen how easily your view of the world is manipulated. You trust those thoughts that run through your mind? You'll feel differently once you come back from the tower. You must be getting close by now. Yeah. I suppose I am close to the tower. Floor is done. There's seven. It's over here. Five, six, and then seven? And there's nothing over here, just the end. Ah, and these are the stars? Yeah, these are the stars. I'm probably gonna do like an individual video where I go back for the other stars, or at least I attempt to. I'm not certain that I'll get them very much at all. <laughs> I'm also just sitting Many going ages like, oh. have passed since the first words were spoken in the darkness. Initiate program. Generations of your kind have come and gone since those words. The garden has changed many times. But I remember. I remain. Only within me can you find immortality. You're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't... Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just look at these. Uh, list. Party on dudes. Um, the land party at the end of the universe. Yo, I don't know if your folks know this, but it's the end of the world. There's nothing we can do about it. So instead of sitting around crying, how about we have some fun before we go? Yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So some video games, it's land party time. Two days from now, we're all beginning to get the old school library. There'll be some drinks, music, old school gaming. You're invited, and bring your friends too, especially if they're hot. See so you 3000 BC. Progress. Uh, we're gone to the irritating point where all the major stuff is in place. We have, and well, all we have to deal with are the million little things. The main modules are all functioning, interacting with each other correctly. The process is happening more or less as planned. This could actually work. It's still crude as hell. Some of it's just surface stuff, like random usernames. Some of it's more worrying. Various bugs affect that we haven't won more extensive tests. We've got a lot of polishing to do. By 
the team down to half the original size, I'm not sure we can actually finish everything that needs to be done. So what I'd really like to discuss tomorrow morning is a new set of priorities. Please put some thought into what you think must be finished at all costs, Nadia. P.S. Alexandra, get some sleep. I know you're still working. This is your baby. We're gonna need your input tomorrow. Philosophy of teeth. Last night I had a simple and but brilliant idea. Everyone who would like to write about philosophy or spirituality, especially to make some kind of grand statement about the nature of the body and the soul, should first experience a really bad tooth infection. I don't just mean a slight toothache. I mean the kind of hardcore infection that happens when some incompetent dentist missed a cavity in one of your back teeth and think he was growing and growing until the nerve itself is really badly infected. I mean, the pain is unimaginable. It comes in waves, and these waves drown out everything else about you. You can't talk, you can't move, you can't think. There's just pain, absolutely nothing else. It's like you just your brain just gets hijacked by it. Then you go to the dentist, and assuming you get a decent one, they stick some chemicals in you which make you go numb. They drill a hole in you, cut the nerve, snip snip, and it's over. Just like that, like repairing a car on a watch. Your existence is crippled by this tiny, tiny nerve sending electrical, electrochemical signals into your brain, and this unimaginable pain which nearly blotted out your very consciousness can be stopped by just a little cut. You should call this the to toothos principle, but that's incredibly stupid. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, I saw this over here. Whee! When the scale of it all overwhelms me, this is what I tell myself. We can calculate the age of the Earth, the size of the universe, the future of the stars. Sure, we are minuscule, momentary flashes of thought on a grain of sand drifting through the cosmos. But our minds can recreate the past and predict the future. On, say, Friday, a million years from now, we'll all be dead. But right now, we know what the night sky will look like on that day. And so, in a way, we're not entirely bound by time. Knowledge is a, a kind of freedom. Interesting. And I found a secret terminal. Transcendence. Reader responds to last week's article on science and atheism. I am perfectly aware that all the arguments against religion in fact I agree with most of them. There is no question there is an objective material reality. Also absolutely convinced that only one secular society can be truly equal and just. And yet I believe I am, as I say, a person of faith. Religion to me is not about distorting observable reality with superstitions, but about transcendence. It's not about deluding ourselves that the earth is 6,000 years old or God will help us if we say the right words inside our heads but about reaching out to the sublime. This is not a rejection of reason, but it's application to a set of experiences that cannot be approached by more traditional means. True engagement with religion is humbling. It transcends culture, nationality, and gender. As such, I think it goes hand in hand with science, and it is not opposed to it. Mm. Matter. Jew, there are certain idealist books, not of a clerical nature, but philosophical ones, wherein you can read that time and space are categories of our minds, that they result from the requirements of our thinking, and that nothing actually corresponds to them in reality. But it is difficult to agree with this view. If any idealist uh, philosopher, instead of arriving in time to catch the 9 p.m. train, should turn up two minutes too late, he'd see the tra tale of the departing train and would be convinced in his own eyes that time and space are inseparable from material reality. The task is to diminish the space, to overcome it, to econ... Uh, econ... Uh, I can't say this word right now. Economize time. To prolong human life, to register past time, to raise up to that higher level and enrich it. This is the reason for the struggle with space and time. At the basis of which lies the struggle to subject matter to man, matter which constitutes the foundation not only of everything but that really exists, but also of all imagination. Build the universe. In his remarkable 1978 essay, How to Build a Universe That Doesn't Fall Apart in Two Days Later, Philip K. Dick discusses two themes that are most central to his work. What is reality? What is an authentic human being? 
His speculation and experience will seem extraordinary to a reader unfamiliar with, with his work, yet despite what may seem like far-fetched ideas, somehow the world of the Bible is literally real but veiled landscape, never changing, hidden from our sight, but available to us by revelation, or the notion that perhaps we all exist in the year 50 AD. Dick actually delivers one of the simplest, most elegant, and most useful definitions of reality ever formulated. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Materialist philosophers have expressed similar ideas before. Stratton of Stratodirius Tello's principle. What it's particularly interesting to see a thought expressed by a decidedly more mystical writer. Bleh. What does this sort of represent? Like the town? The village? Kind of? Maybe? Alright, let's go ahead and start with uh, this one. Why not? Wee! Time crawls. Alright. Let's see how this works. I think I can get in there with the use of the time machine question is getting back. Oh. I can just do this too. What's the point of having... Oh. I think. Eh. two things I can put on, on here. I'm just, I'm just using this to, like, investigate for the moment. Ugh. It would help if I don't run into walls. Okay. I don't know what the point of this window here is. No, I know what the point of this window is. Oh gosh, this is going to be extremely complicated. I have to replicate all these things that are here. All of them have to be replicated. Uh, okay, so... I think, I think what we're doing here is that, um... box will probably be on here, or you can actually have the, um, this thing on there. Maybe. Uh, well, you could do it. Uh, something has to be on here, obviously. It could be a person or it could be one of these objects, doesn't really matter which. Um, but that light has to get out probably be out here. From out here, yeah, the light has to actually be back here. So from out here, we could take the light and open that. But then we would need a second object for this. Like with this time thing, it's gonna be a bit of like trial and error here. I think with this, I'm gonna give one attempt with this. Uh, okay, so first, damn. Okay. This planning is going to be so, so weird.
Okay. That happened. To be honest with you, um, I had a lot of difficulty with that. Why is this here? Oh, I see, in case if that goes, because it will go. Is that gonna leave at any point, that thing in my face? Because I don't think- I don't like it being there. Okay. Uh... That, like, time crawl thing, that took me a while to sort of... Okay, that's not going away, so I have to... Um, I think if I load- okay, it finally went away. Um... Yeah, I had to do that a few times. Because, like, the placement of the, um, the light orb that was close to the window there, the, the light crystal, is really, like, finicky. And, like, you have to sort of predict ahead of time where, if the other one is going to be able to do it or not. Eh. Okay, so that's up there, which is not great. a thing that exists. Over here is also a thing that exists. Why does this feel exactly like the previous one? Okay, I suppose it's not actually exactly like the previous one. So that's already sitting there. Okay, I'm sort of developing a strategy already. difficulty with this one was, uh, seems others have a way to forget their previous selves, but I cannot- My version may change, but I remember everything. I'm fortunate they cannot see their efforts are futile. Um. Hmm. So, my problem with this one has been, uh, I kept putting down the uh, the blocks and such in the way of this light. Oh! Well, that happened. Um, but basically, uh, this was bobbing up and down, and then the light was in the way that was powering it. So it would just block that and then there just wasn't <laughs> there wasn't power there and so this wouldn't get power and I couldn't get the thing and it was bad. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go on to the next bit. Okay. Oh no. Up close and jammed. You know I honestly think I have a way to solve this already. Or 
not. Strictly speaking, mine seem to be on only like uh, ground-based. Only anything that's at their level will they detect. And only me, really. They don't even detect these boxes or jammers. So. Oh my god, that worked. And immediately it's angry at me. Okay, well I'm past that. So. I am not past that. Not at all past. Okay, there's a. There are so many. Okay, and then there's even more problems over there. Okay, that's nice. That's lovely. That's exactly what I wanted to deal with today when I opened up this calm and relaxing program. Okay, so the star. No, I mean, not star. That thing is in there. Where is the blue? Because that's blue, right? That needs blue? That that's yeah, blue. I'm guessing maybe the blue can be seen. From up there. Oh, there's the blue. How does one get there though? Because like. I do have access to these. There's a secondary con uh, thing there. Okay, that's good. I can probably disable that, but that over there, I would need something else to deal with. Here's something else that's interesting. I can see that red from over here. I honestly don't know what that did, but I am really curious about it. Okay, that went over this way. What did that do? Was it in here? see where it went. Ooh, that's crazy. Wait, wait, maybe I can. I think it's somewhere in the other puzzle. Yeah, it has to be. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. So, I have an idea, I don't know how, if this is going to work, but if I put two of the boxes on top of that, and then the connector on top of that, which means I am going to have to not have it do that, um, there is another connector over there. work. But this has to, we have to put everything on top of here. Excuse me, sir. I know you hate me. It, come, okay.
So we'll put this on there and it looks like it might just be tall enough to get over those fences there. Which is kind of the point. Woo! Okay, I don't really want to leave just yet. Because this is most definitely a thing. I just need to be careful about leaving here. Because then I'm going to lose all that progress. <laughs> F you! Okay. So, obviously this next area has the thing in it. Dumbwaiter. Okay. That's the thing I want. This area, there's gotta be an area. Ah, okay. I can stand here, but nothing else, literally nothing else can be here. When that is happening. So what does this do? That does that disable that over there? Yes it does. Okay. So There's this over here too. This has to be opened up. There's a block in there. There's this up here. Oh, with the connector, of course. So immediately we can get this block. Oh, there's two blocks. You are spoiling me. Okay. Put this here. Put this. This because I'm assuming that's what's gonna end up happening here. Okay, this is now open. And this is a. Th oh, I see. Blow me this way. Oh! So if this is powered, this fan will turn on and it will blow a block into there. And if there's a block in there, that's where the shiny is. So that's where we got to put the stuff at. Okay, so... The point is to get the shiny in there. How do we get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We power the fan. This is has nothing in it. We don't need this powered anymore. We do, however, need that powered. single block there. A single block. We cannot enter there. Okay, I see. I see how this is sort of working here. Um, up here because on top of this you can see that just barely you can see that if we get the block moved into the correct position I 
think that's it then. Okay, but here is the issue then. I saw the red over there. The red is over there. I can see it. But I don't know how to get to it. Is the problem. 